What's up, YTBC? It's Big John coming back at you, baby. Your boy is recovering, okay? I'm going to be straight up with you. Don't nobody laugh at me. This is a precautionary tale. Well, let me break it down for you. I'm sitting here the other night, and I'm chilling. I'm talking to Randy and old Doc Hatfield. Everything's all good. I'm like, man, I'm going to pop open a tin, you know? I smoked a few cigars that day. Had a full meal. Very delicious. Full stomach. Very well hydrated for the day. Just to give preface the conditions. Because I already know some of y'all, why well, you didn't eat. No, nah, bullshit. When they all right, when they catch you, they going to catch you. So down here talking to a few good buddies of mine smoking this exact same pipe right here this uh buckeye apple and in the pipe i packed up for the first time Whew, i don't even want to touch some of this right here Some of this Peterson, three peas. I got sealed up in the bag now. Yeah. So, any words. I'm chilling. I cut off a couple flakes. Excuse me. I cut off a couple flakes. I'm sitting here. I'm cruising. Mm-hmm. Good, strong Virginia Burley. Cooking. Get about... Halfway through the bowl, which, by mind you, it hadn't kicked at all. All right. No nicotine, no vitamin E, all right, all right. About the same level halfway through the bowl as uh, that uh, Sir John. Uh, maybe a little bit lighter. Than I felt when I smoked that Tambulaka. About the same Nick level as maybe if you're at a pipe show and you're on your second bowl of five brothers. I was cruising, cruising. Like I said, full stomach, completely hydrated. I finished the bowl. I'm fine. I feel good. I got me a drink. I'm chilling. I'm laughing. I'm joking. I said, I'm going to smoke another pipe. Second pipe. I'm glad I didn't smoke Pearson 3Ps. Second pipe was LJ Peretti Cuban Mixture. Another Burley Cigar Leaf Blend. I cooked through that bowl pretty good because I'm about ready for bed. You know, I've been on vacation, ch chilling, kicking back. So I said, let's uh, let's go ahead and take it down. I click off everything I'm on on the computer and everything. And all of a sudden, I sit back. Now, YTPC, I'm going to tell you right now, I've had a hard nick hit before. This was not that. This was maximum overdrive, YTPC, let me tell you. So, I sit back of a cold sweat. I mean, 
just <sighs> complete wash, complete like, I don't even know how to describe it. Stoned euphoria, cold sweat. So I make my way upstairs and I sit down at the table and I decide whether I'm gonna throw up or I'm gonna die in the corner. I'm spinning. I do not feel good. I feel like, A, I'm not even thinking about tobacco right now. I'm thinking, A, I'm having a stroke. B, heart attack. C, about to see Jesus. D, Rona then got me. I start to kind of compose myself a little bit. I go in there and I still got a couple of... Uh, you know, we got we keep baby aspirin at the crib, stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, let me go and pop a baby aspirin. My heart was just mind you, not even thinking about you know that this might be tobacco related. I'm in full freak out mode, thinking I'm dying or the Rona or something like that. <clears throat> so I go and I decide to go ahead and take it down. Big mistake. Big mistake, bro. So I go lay down in the bed. I'm in there about the hair of the dog. Gotta jump back on that horse. Can't let that horse get me like that. So, I jump in the bed. The universe is talking to me, bro. The world is spinning. The bed is spinning. My heart is beating. I'm half having a panic attack. I'm trying to figure out what the hell's going on. I'm scared to go to sleep because I'm scared I'm going to die. Straight up. Full stomach. A person that ingests large amounts of nicotine on a regular basis. Yes, this can happen to you. It can happen to anybody. So be careful. So I get to sleep. The wife is kind of, she knows something's going on. So she's kind of talking to me, making sure I'm all right and everything. I told her I'm fine. I just don't feel good. All the while, you know, I'm freaking out. So about the time I finally get to sleep, yo, it was the hills had eyes. I was in the middle of like, I don't know. I was like Constantine in hell. It was the craziest, most freaked out damn dream in the history of the world, man. I, was, I mean, I had just descended down into darkness and it was a bunch of shit trying to get me, bro. So I had to go, 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 go. So when your boy woke up, I was in the kitchen like just bo -bo 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 freaking out, bro. I'm praying to Jesus. I'm praying to God. I think I'm going to die. Take my blood pressure. My blood pressure is 1 million over 2 million. Like I said, I didn't know if it was the Rona. I didn't know if it was a heart attack. Ain't nobody thinking about the Peterson 3Ps. Once I finally came down from that, which was going into the next day, going into yesterday, I got up, ate something because my stomach was still a mess. My heart rate had gotten up so high the night before I could tell that I was just stressed out and tired. So I took a nap yesterday 
Went to bed early yesterday. Slept for probably about 10 hours. Got up today, took a shower, and finally feel better. I don't know. Somewhat funny, somewhat not funny precautionary tale of my nicotine overdose exploits. So, until I talk to you again, YTPC, be safe, stay home, and also, when you're in quarantine, be careful not to smoke too much nicotine because, yeah, it's a situation, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you, you're gonna think you're gonna die. <laughs> so, be safe, enjoy responsibly, peace from Big John. I'm out.